Men will never respect you or themselves for helping them. That's half the problem in their relationships. When they're trying to do 50-50 with a woman, they think it's a good idea first until the woman starts acting like she owns everything. Which she does if she's contributing to it. She is part owner. And then the man feels emasculated because he can't be a man because the woman is half the man that he's supposed to be. The other half, you know. So when you have a woman who's contributing to bills and you have a woman in the relationship that's giving um, and contributing to the household and the man and, you know, the finances, she becomes the other half of him. And he loses that half of his masculinity. And so therefore, anything he says is no longer respected because she's like, well, I can do the same. Or anything he says is no longer taken seriously because her ideas are better. Anything he says is not considered because she's better at the finances. She is now his competition and probably better at whatever he was, you know, being a man than he is. So then he starts to feel emasculated, he starts to feel underappreciated, and men tend to cheat during these times, or men tend to get upset or depressed at these times because they're not living in their full masculinity. And then they blame it on the woman. They blame it on the woman that they gave the responsibility of being half the man too. So when you really think about it, men who ask what you bring to the table, men who want you to uh, financially give them uh, something in the relationship or to the household is really giving you his other, okay, his other ball. So when you get the ball, when you get the ball in your court, you're going to do with it what you want. You know what I'm saying? So stop doing that, man. If you want your woman to respect you and look up to you and look at you like a man and respect you in, in your masculinity, stop giving her your ball. She's going to do whatever she wants with it. She might, she might start wearing it. Okay? So don't. I think it's a good idea because you saw mama, mama doing all the work. Well, your mama had both. Your mama had to be both. Your mom had to be the man and the you want me, you want your woman to be the man? Because that's what you're doing. You're giving her that responsibility. And then when she pulled right on you as the more masculine in the relationship, because she's probably contributing more if she has children, that means she's doing more work. And more work equals more masculinity. So if the woman is paying bills, coming home, cooking, clean, and doing all this stuff, looking good getting paid, getting raises, what are you there for? You know, now you the man, now you the woman. You're the woman. And you get no respect. You know, so um, then you get talked down to, then you become the child at their point because she don't even want you anymore because she doesn't want, she don't like women like that. So then you just become her child. And after you become her child, then you start feeling self, you know, aware of how you're being treated. You're looking at the kids and she's talking to you the same way she's talking to those children now. So anyway, men who think it's a good idea to ask a woman to bring something to the table will quickly find out that it is not a good idea. <laughs> Don't ask us to bring that to the table. We'll take over the table. And ask you to clean and wash some dishes and tell you um, what to do, how much to spend in A, B, C, and D. You're going to have to ask us if you can buy something. You understand? So, no, do not ask us because we will take it over. That's what women do. You can't give us that responsibility if you don't want us becoming really good at it and probably better than you at it. And it's just never going to work. 